This is the Grade 12 National Senior Certificate Computer Application Technology or CAT PRAC exam for Paper 1 for November 2021. And we are finally at the last question. Question 7, the end game is near. So let's finish this paper strongly. So question 7, we've got to open up a document called 7 letter, which I've done already. And we must use form controls. We've got to change the ones. The nice thing about this is they're asking us to change them. We don't have to insert anything. So just a reminder, though, if you are going to have to insert form controls and you don't have the developer tab, make sure that you click somewhere in like a blank spot on the ribbon somewhere. You can right click there and customize your ribbon. And then you can go and make sure that the developer tab is selected. So there you can see the developer tab. We click on it and you click OK. Now you've got the developer tab in order if you want to add any of these particular fields like these form controls. But I think we're just editing ones in this paper. So change the form control below the date. So where's the date? So there, there's, there it is. So we're going to change it to display the current date. Okay, so I'm just going to right click. When in doubt, right click and see what options are available. So we're going to go to properties. So let's maybe look at the top. Let's see if there are options available. Oh, there's current date. So I'm going to select current date for that. I think that is suitable. There we go. I think that's going to be fine. So we'll do that. It was quite easy. And then add the option 14 in the drop down form control for the required reply required within. So reply required within. Where is that? Am I not? There it is. There it is. So we're going to right click on this one and go to properties. And we want to add a 14. So I'm going to type in 14 and add it. So there's a 7 and a 14. I think that's what they want. So add the 14 option. So there we go. That was it. It was easy. But don't, we just save, don't close because we obviously got to keep on working with this document. So I'm going to come back here to the questions. Okay. Now we're going to do a mail merge. Link the letter with the data source for the company spreadsheet. Select only the companies with very high and high level levels and replace the text company and level to display the company and level from the spreadsheet. Save the document. Do not close it. Complete the merge and save it. Okay, so we're going to do a mail merge. So let's go over here. We're going to go to mailings. First step is we're going to start the mail merge. And this is obviously a letter. So we'll select letters. And then we're going to select recipients. So what, what do we need? Like where are we getting the data from? So the data we're going to get from an existing list. So yeah, we're in the data folder with all our exam stuff. And you said we must get from the seven company spreadsheet. So there it is. So we're going to get the data from that spreadsheet. I'm going to open it. And once it's connected, it, yes, there's only one sheet. So I'm assuming that's going to be it. Okay, so we're going to edit the recipient list. They said they only want high and very high level people. So how do I do that? Well, let's go edit the recipient list. So we only want high and very high people. So let's do a filter. So we want a filter where the level is equal to high. And we're not going to say and because they can't be high and very high at the same time. Okay, so small letter high. So let's make it small letter high. So let's use or the level is equal to very high. So I think those are my options. Let's just have a look. If I click OK. So we've only got very high and high. So that's how we did it. So we used all because remember, you can't have a very high and high in the same field. It's not possible. So there we go. We've got our filter done. There we go. And select. There we go. Replace the company and level with the data from the spreadsheet. So there's company. So I'm going to delete. Just change that. We're going to use our fields inside the merge field. So we're going to use company for that. And then level. I'm going to select level. Level will also get from here. So there we go. And then I'll just put a space. I think I took a space away. And then save and do not close. So we're going to save this because we're going to do the mail merge in the next step. Complete the mail merge and save the merge documents as seven merge. So we're going to go. Let's just preview the results. So we can see that it's coming through very hard. There we go. I'm going to finish the merge. Edit individual documents. Yes, we want all of them. And we should only see very high and high. If I go through, I mean, a brand new document called letters, but it's only high and very high being displayed here. And I'm going to save this. They said save it as seven merge. Obviously, save it in your exam folder so that we can put it, to, make sure that it gets marked. So we can go file, save as. And we're going to go browse. So I've gone to my exam folder and I'm just going to make sure I save it as seven merge. Make sure you save it as the correct name because obviously people market it. You want to make sure that they go to the right document. So there's seven merge and I can then click on save. And there we go. Now it's saved in the right place. If I double check my folder, I can see at the bottom there's my seven merge. So there we go. So that's great. And I think that's it. That we can close this. 
Okay, so we're working on the seven date spreadsheet. Make sure we're in the right worksheet. It's on the monthly worksheet. Complete a functional formula for D3 to display the name of companies that have a low level, column B, of pollution and where the monitor date was in November. So we want monitor date November and a low level. So B and C, let's go look at what it looks like. So there's our, we are in the right sheet. So there's where we want to put our formula. So we want a low level and we want the monitor date to be November. So those are two criteria and we want to display they've given us a little tip there they said use the if statement and they've even told us use an and so there's an operator they're going to take that away but we must display the name of the company if they meet those two criteria else they must display nothing so that we actually just have to do this part so we're just going to do the and part and remember and does two conditions so it's like a an if statement with but it's got two tests in it so not that we want to put brackets there and they are separated by a comma so we're going to have one condition and then another condition if they're both true then it'll do the true part so the first criteria that they said is that they must have a low level column b so i don't know if column b so if the first criteria is if B43 equals the word low, then I know that they are a low level. So that's my first criteria. Make it a capital L because I want it to be exactly like that. That's correct. My second criteria is that they were date the monitor date was in november now i've got to be careful here because that i can't say if a date equals november i need to get the particular month of that block so i'm going to use the month function there's a month function so the month of c3 that will return the number that represents the month which is in this case an 11 if that equals november november is the 11th month so i can say that so there we go our two criteria if B3, the blue block, is low, and if the month of the red block equals 11, if both of those criteria are true, then display the name, else display nothing. And there we go, it works. And if I drag this down, we should see that it does the exact same for all the other cells. So it does those ones as well correctly. So we know that's correct, so I'm going to save it. Ooh, and we're done. So let's go to 7.3. Work in the 7.3 worksheet. So I'm going to come here. Oh, there's another worksheet. Let's click on that one. Okay, so what that one we to do. Display an alphabetical list of all the companies with a very high level of population and where monitor date was 2021. Hmm, okay. So we've got a large list of data. I don't want to start deleting stuff. So I'm going to select this data and let's put it into a table. So we're going to go insert and table. So it puts it all inside a table. Yes, my table is headings. So now that I've got a table, I can do some, they don't tell me this is display. So we only want very high level. Now that it's in a table, I can do criteria on it. Like for example, over here, I can go over here. We only want, we select nothing. We only want very high. And now we've only got the very high options. And then what else? And we want monitor date was 2021. So we want to go here. Okay, so we can say, Oh, they've given us, so we select all. We want 2021 as my date of year. You could have had other filters if you wanted to. So they give you lots of options, but we want 2021. So there we go. Very hard, 2021. I think that's all they want. There we go. We've got a nice little list. So I've made a filter. So you select the data, just the, the data. Don't select the whole sheet. And then you go insert a table. And then you can go and do these little filters. So I'm going to save that. That's it. He's done. So save and close. We can close the spreadsheet. So we can, let's go. We can save this and we can close it. Okay, now 7.4, extract the image file from the password protected. We're dealing with this folder. There it is. There's the exe file. So extract the image and we've got to use the password November. So I'm just going to double click on this and hope for the best. Double click. There we go. So I can run it. Okay, it's giving me an error just to make sure that it's because it's obviously exe is just a bit wary of it. So we're going to run it and hope for the best because your computers don't always like exe files. So there we go. We're going to extract it. So let's go. So we can extract it. They say extract the image file using. So, just, so I'm going to extract it into the file where all my data is. So extract it. Type in the password November. If you want to double check, it is November. There we go. Click OK. And if I come to over here, Ah, oh, there we go. There's the image that's been extracted. So that's literally all we had to do for one little mark. There we go. It's done. And I think that's the end of the paper. Well done, grade 12. We've now reached the end of the paper. Hopefully that has prepared you for your next PRAC exam. Links to data files and other videos can be found in the video description. For help with theory, go to our other channel called Mr. Long Computer Terms. Click that subscribe button or follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.